Hi, Elaine. Nice to finally Hi, meet you. It's good to meet you, too. It's very good to put a face into the name sometimes. You as well. Thank you. Um, so based on our phone conversation last week, um, you uh, mentioned that uh, you were interested in the CAN-IO technology and wanting to put it into a system um, for a third-party customer. And um, basically what we're going to talk about today is, you know, how we're going to implement this into your system and how we can, you know, maybe package it with uh, your product or uh, implement it into your system for the uh, customer for the future. And um, does that sound good to you? Is that something of value to you? And would you like to add more to that? Yes, I mean, that's something that we can certainly dis discuss. Um, but I have my, uh, my own team of engineers that work here. And um, although that you know we appreciate the uh, um, potential of buying the hardware, we really wouldn't need the hardware. We need the design. So then the, uh, my uh, engineers can take that design model and put it together and um, put it in our product. Okay. Um, well, give me a little background of this contract that you're signing up with. Um, are they? <laughs> Are they going to be using this um, on, uh, on uh, are they going to be using your product? Have you signed this contract with them yet? Uh, we have not signed the contract. We are working on the, the final details with the terms and conditions. Um, but it would it'd be a product that would go in um, a vehicle that, uh, um, that they are designing. Okay. Um, well, uh, you said you mentioned that you have your own team of engineers who will be using this um, in, in who will be making this design. So um, I understand that you know you, you may not be interested in purchasing the hardware and you want to do the design yourself. Um, so perhaps uh, do you have a lab yourself that your engineers will be doing testing on and um, do you see a need for test equipment and test an analyzing tools? Uh, yes, uh, we do have a lab and our engineers um, work to, as a team down in that lab and uh, but I do find that the, the tools might be of use. Is, do you have some more information that you could give me on, on the tools? Yeah, definitely. We. Um to give you a little information besides providing hardware for you. We also um, will be more than glad to uh, provide you the design and help you develop the technology into your system, how you would like it based on you know your product. And um, we can uh, guide your engineers and offer them uh, analyzing tools and test equipment and such forth. And we also have software packages that we can provide for you, um, some protocol stacks and sorts. So things of that sort. Um, so I can definitely provide you with some more information in that regard. Um, so from my understanding, if I can get you know your specifications on on you know the dimensions of your of your of your box and the product that you're having, and I'll give you some guidance and I'll put you through with the development team and uh, give you some guidance with that. And uh, meanwhile, you might want to use one of our hardware tools and kind of test it out with your system just to see how it works. Um, maybe you can just purchase one or, um, you know, I'll have, I'll have our office send you a code and purchase one and just to kind of test around with it. It's worth investing in it and then implement the design into your system for your own, for your future investments. Uh, that sounds like um, a plan. I, do you provide any loaners? Um, <laughs> uh, yes, we do. We do provide loaners. We can also work around with that and, um, you know, do what is of your need. Prior to my purchase, because, you know, I would hate to um, purchase a, an expensive item and have it sit on a shelf because I don't need it in the future. Prior to that, if I could borrow one of your um, tools or, one or, or a package of your tools for the next two weeks, that would um, be great. Sure. I'll look into that and see how I can package it into... Um, the product for you and, and provide you with that. Great. And is it possible that you could send me a quote so yes. that I can take that officially to the powers to be? Definitely. I will contact our office and provide you a quote by tomorrow afternoon. And I will also get back to you with an email on um, what may be of use to you once you get back to me with some specifications on your system. And I'll, I'll provide you with the details of what you may need and what you might find useful of our tools. Sounds great. Okay. Give her a round of applause. <laughs>
But um, I think I had a good introduction. If we had more time to, you know, for me to waste, I may have made that more stronger and built a more personal level relationship because that's kind of would be my focus right now, considering that I don't have that much product knowledge. Um, I think uh, I, I did well with that. Um, uh, I think I, I kind of tried to understand what their needs are and kind of transition that into our other products and what other based on their needs, what other things I can offer to them. Um, uh, I think my weakness, uh, we're going to get into that. Well, we're not going to talk about weaknesses because okay. nobody has weaknesses. What are the areas, though, that you would strengthen the next time around? I think I would need to do more of an organized um, practice of you know, going through the opening to the probe to the transition and to the closing. <clears throat> I think I'm, uh, it, I require to be more organized and um, and in better. fairness to the observer of the video, it's fair to say that because of illness, you were not able to attend a substantial <laughs> portion of that piece of the program, but you did an exemplary job in spite of that. Thank you. As the customer for Tanya, what did you observe as her strengths? I thought that um, when you provided options for um, the, the tools, anything to help um, with our process. I thought that was very, uh, very strong. And, you know, like I think I can say most of us or all of us in this room, we all have a presence of some sort, and Tanya has a presence. And her presence to me um, uh, gives me a sense of comfort and assurance. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was part of the hiring pro process with her, and that was, you know, one of the things that I liked about you is that, you know, your demeanor is... Um, not pushy, not you know you it, you you come across just very confident, but yet not in your face. Good, thank you. Good uh, areas that you might recommend she examine for possible strengthening. Uh, you know, I think that missing the the first day is difficult because those those are the the building blocks. So, you know, that um, you know, beginning portion when, you know, you need to, needed to kind of set the agenda and then um, confirm why, why we're, we were here, I think, you know, yeah. but something should be Stronger value on. statement, which clearly you'll get when you have a deeper understanding of what the value statement is about. Um, commentary from those of you that observed. I thought you did a good job for... Uh, you know the the today's lesson basically I mean you, you pick it up pretty quick um, being new to sales um, just really hone in on mastering this process because it's gonna make your life a lot easier down the road um, I know I, I've been in several sales jobs and aimlessly wandered for a long time so it, it's this is something that's going to make you a lot better down the road. So keep working at it, keep practicing, keep smiling, and you'll be fine. Thank you. Yeah, I would commend you for going up and, and doing it today, missing yesterday. And then, uh, you know, it's hard enough being here a day, almost two days and doing it to only be here today. So great job on that. Um, I think you do have a presence as well and did a good job of, you know, the eye contact, relaying you know the information that you wanted to um, I think one of the observations Travis had with me is you know take a break stop you know let let's hear from your client and um, I think sometimes when we're just nervous we keep going so that, that's a lesson I'll learn and I think one could have been used there as well but good job Thank you. Uh, I think you did well a uh, couple of things I think that she threw a couple wrenches at you uh, and uh, which I wasn't expecting from her at you at this stage <laughs> shame on you uh, <laughs> as I told Paul if you can dodge a wrench you can dodge a ball <laughs> um, what I think that you did well and I think it's going to serve you well in your career as sales is, is that um, a few times you started to get flustered and get off track but you got on track very quick very quickly after that and that's one of the things in sales is when you're sitting there you can get off track real quick but as long as you just don't uh, harp on that fact and you get back on the horse right away while you're sitting there talking I think you did that twice I think you got back on there you got back in online and then on process and I think I, I commend you for that.